Hi goddesses, I'm Margie here. So I'm super excited to do this flow. Um, I'm doing it really because I got in a car accident last week and I just went into this state of fear and paranoia, paranoia and um, just really ungroundedness after doing a lot of um, deep spiritual work and not having that nurturing that I needed. So I'm really focusing now on grounding and just healing my body and healing my mind um, on a much like in a really like realistic way, not taking it to the extremes, just giving myself that warm, loving, honey goddess healing, right? And you can sit there and go to so many healers and you can do all that stuff and that's amazing and I do think that you need a healer and um, a coach when you're diving deep and you're doing some of this really deep work. Um, and you also need to really love yourself and you need to be able to self-heal and self-soothe and be able to discern and listen to yourself. So this flow is really about listening to yourself, taking time out to just move slowly to integrate the mind and the body connection. And if at any time you feel like you want to kind of move in a way that feels more authentic to you and just like pause me and just listen to your body, that is so cool with me, obviously. So I'm just going to kind of flow with it, see what comes up, and just listen to my intuition. And if you're here, it means that your intuition led you here for some sort of healing, some sort of realization, or intuitive hit that's going to come to you in this practice. So the more you're able to quiet your mind, let go of all the distractions outside of this video, and just be with yourself, um, that's the greatest gift that you can give yourself so thank you so much for showing up for you and I'm really excited to get into this practice make sure that you have a mat or something I'm on the carpet so I'm not gonna get a mat so um, let's do this <laughs> let's go ahead and start off in a seated position right underneath the fabric. Go ahead and sit in easy pose. You can bring your hands into the fabric. Just starting to acquaint yourself with the fabric. Sit up nice and tall. Make sure that your spine is straight and the shoulder blades are pulled down your back. We'll take a nice big breath in through the nose. Nice slow breath out through the mouth. Couple more, big breath in, and a big breath out. We're gonna take the hands forward and just let the head start to relax down through your armpits, through your shoulders. Fingers are nice and relaxed, maybe the elbows bend. We're gonna imagine that there's this nice, solid golden light coming from the bottom of your root chakra coming from your third eye and starting to melt deep down growing roots into Gaia Mother Earth. Big breath in. And as you exhale send that energy down into the earth. A few more breaths here. slow and steady breaths, not forcing anything, just breathing each breath just a tiny bit deeper than the one before. Slowly start to rise, so pressing the hands into the fabric, straighten your arms, bring your chin to your chest as you slowly roll out, rolling the shoulder blades down your back, letting your head come back if that feels good for your neck. <laughs> 
and then over to the right, nice and slow. Forward, to the left. Nice deep breath. Switch directions the other way. Five on this side. The fabric is down just a little bit lower than normal. So we're about a foot and a half off the ground. It should come right about between your knee and your hip. Start to walk the hands back, fingers face back, and just open up through your chest, let your head hang back. And we'll slowly bring the chin back to the chest, let the legs come out wide. So just about like at a V, put your toes back, we're going to inhale to reach the arms up, and just start to reach forward again. So wherever it feels like you are at like a seven out of ten as you start to reach forward. Just gonna kind of bounce forward and back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. As we reach forward, we're going to inhale, flex your feet back, spread your toes, and we'll just start to rock side to side. So remember, we're at a seven here, nothing too intense, we're not really warmed up. Still imagining that root growing deep down into the earth. Being real in this world, being alive in this world, not living in this fantasy, just being right here, right now with your breath, in this room, in this town, in this state, in this country, on this planet. So to come up to a straight spine, and just flex and point your toes. Feel the calves, feel your ankles, feel your quads, feel your toes spread wide. Maybe take your ankles in big circles and then switch directions. Going either way a couple times. And then we'll slowly start to bring the feet together. So soles of the feet come together, knees fall out wide. And we'll start to bring it forward and back a few times again. Inhale forward, exhale back. That Hawaii sun is nice and warm today. Middle of January. We got a nice view of the ocean right here. So happy. Do about five more of these. Just gentle with yourself. Gentle with your body. Maybe take it in a few circles back and forth. Double check, we are still filming. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna pull the knees in or the feet in a little bit further, grab your toes like little books, 
Let's take a full forward. Again, we're rooting down. You can walk the hands down. I like to place my hands in prayer. Bring these thumbs so that they're just pressing right underneath the middle of your eyebrows. This is going to release pressure in your head. It's going to release stress. Oh, if you can't get all the way down there, you can come to your elbows and do it here. Let's take five deep breaths here. Whatever has been on your mind, whatever has been stealing your inner peace, just allow that to melt away. The whole point of prayer is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You can just start to repeat that in your mind towards anything that you're having issues with, people that you're not happy with. You just send them that prayer. Start to dissolve any negative energy. Allowing your subtle body to rest. Allowing your mind to rest. And slowly bring the hands back down. Bring it all the way back up. We'll inhale, big reach to the sky. Exhaling the hands down to the heart. Anjali Mudra, heart center. I think so often we get caught up on what is my purpose? Why am I here? I want you to just allow an intention to come up. It doesn't need to be this big thing. It doesn't need to be this glamorous idea. An intention and your purpose is simply a way of being, a way of feeling. And in each moment, it can be fluid, it can change. So just allow it to come up, whether that's to love, to forgive, to be, to experience joy. Allow that to come up in your mind right here. We'll take a few breaths to call it in. Once you have that intention, slowly start to release the legs forward. We'll grab onto the, the quads and just give the legs a little massage. So often we forget to touch our own body and just love our own body. So give yourself that nourishment, that healing, and you walk the hands down to the feet. Grab the feet, grab the toes. Just feel that love. Start to walk them back up whenever you're ready. And then we'll bring the arms up and through the fabric. We're going to grab on from the inside. Pull yourself up to your knees. Bring your arms through. Bring it, bring it right to the rib hang. Right at the ribs. Right underneath the armpits and start to let the arms come down. Maybe you hang out here if that's too much on your neck to let your head hang. You can keep your chin tucked. Or you can interlace your hands behind your head, let your head hang back, and just kind of get a little rock side to side. Oh, I already felt a nice crack. Allow your heart to open. The more open you are in your heart, the more you're able to receive and feel. And the moment you start to close is a minute that you're living in fear, that you're not allowing things in, you're closing off. One of my favorite books is The Tethered Soul. And it's really the science and the whole philosophy behind keeping your heart open and how important it is to always stay open no matter what because the universe is always going to give you exactly what you need and exactly what you can handle. So allow your heart to stay open no matter what. Bring the soles of the feet down to the ground and just ground those feet in. Maybe the arms hang and just kind of start to straighten your legs and take it side to side. Maybe the hands stay behind the head, whatever feels juicy and delicious. Just look at your feet, look at your body, 
Staying present in this feeling, staying present in this room. It's important to remember that we are having a human experience. To not get caught up in all those 5D things. We still gotta make that money, we still gotta do our things, we still gotta serve the world. So don't escape into the spiritual world. We'll grab up onto the fabric, bring it back to the knees. We're going to bring the feet out a little bit wider than the hips and sit down if that feels okay. Hands are just going to naturally wrap and we're going to interlace the fingers and start to lean back. Maybe the head comes to the floor. If that feels good on your lower back, wherever you are, engage your core and just let yourself hang. Need to grab up higher on the fabric, you can do that. And slowly come up. We'll come back through the heels. Big inhale to reach the arms to the sky. Hands come down so that the wrists are facing down, the thumbs are going to twist in towards your heart center, grab on, and then we'll start to let the head hang through the armpits. Maybe you take it side to side. Wherever you are, we're breathing. You want to take this further, you can bring the hips up. And then you sit back to the heels. And take it back down. Whatever is feeling aligned and juicy for you right now. Take some shoulder rolls. Roll them back. And roll them forward. toes underneath, so roll the toes underneath. Come and stand onto your toes, straighten your legs. We're kind of in a downward facing dog, but it's like a little bit more than a downward facing dog. So just shake your head out, bend one knee, bend the other. Take it side to side. If this is ever too much, you can always walk your hands up higher. What's important here is that we're pressing forward, rolling the shoulder blades back so that we protect our shoulders. And then also bending the knees if you need to. Nice and slow, we'll start to roll up. Stand up nice and tall. Just pick up the toes, ground them down. Body. We're going to bring the fabric right at the hips. Just walking forward, and then you're going to bend down onto your thighs. Walk your hands forward until it's top right there on the hips. And you're going to come down to your forearms. Let your feet come down and back. Let your head rest onto the floor. Interlace the fingers. Maybe the thumbs come to the back of the neck and just allow your hips to go side to side. Option to rest them down. Stay here about five breaths. Just feeling how it's massaging your hip bones. So we'll start to hook that right leg on. Just allow that left leg to come down. Walk your hands forward. Maybe the forehead comes down. Maybe the chin comes down. Wherever you're at, 
start to straighten that top leg. If you want more, you can start to walk that leg forward and then start to step into it. So you're gonna get a nice stretch in the calves, a nice stretch in the hips. The name of the game is not overdoing it right now. I'm just allowing yourself to feel. We'll start to switch that left leg hooks on this time. Right leg steps down. Start to ground that heel down. Three more deep breaths. Slowly relax that leg down, hook the feet on, come up to like a plank position, walk the hands back, drop it back down to the elbows, maybe straighten your legs out, maybe try a little pinch in my arasana. If you're not ready for that, you can simply bring the legs back and hook them on. And then we'll walk the feet back forward, Come into a downward facing dog, shake the head out. Hmm. And just wag the tail, I like to pull the knees together, almost like I'm up on my toes a little bit, but also pressing my heels back and then arching my back, rolling my shoulder blades down my back and just wagging the tail. And start to walk the feet forward. Inhale into our half lift. Exhale to fold. Interlace the hands behind your back. Stretch the arms out. Head hangs. Whoa. Oh. Little sigh. Let out a moan. Whatever you need to do to just get that energy out to get that shit out, to get all that stuff that's freaking bothering you out, just let it go. We'll slowly roll up, bringing the fabric so it's behind us. Hook the hands, the thumbs in, bring it to the lower back. We're gonna start to slowly come back, but since I'm so low to the ground, I'm not gonna just hang here with my head. I'm gonna reach for the ground and walk the hands forward. Drop down to the elbows. Do what feels right. Bring your third eye to the ground. And just kind of rock it side to side. This is too much on your shoulders. Back off or bring it forward like this. My hands are in Kali Mudra, so fingers interlace, point your finger out. a pretty intense back bend. We're just moving all the energy. So they're cleansing out that lymphatic system. We'll slowly bring it forward. Start to walk the hands back underneath. Grab up between the legs. Bring it back to the ribs. Left foot comes over the right knee. Just stretch those hips out. Maybe the hands come behind the head. Maybe you grab up and sit down a little bit further. Wherever you are, relax. We'll switch legs. Down. Sit down to your booty. Hands are going to naturally wrap. Roll it forward into that forward fold head. Flex your feet back and point them a few times.
come up nice and slow. Option to get all the way into your hammock. Option to lay down on the floor to find a nice seated place. Anything that feels good to relax, take some time to be still, to meditate. That's why we do our asana practice so that we can meditate and hear the guidance that the universe has for us. So make sure to dive into one of my meditations or sit in silence. I love you, babe, so, so, so much. And I'm beyond grateful to be on this journey with you. Namaste. Tag me in your stories or in your Instagram or your Facebook or wherever and let me know that you did this practice.